everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the best practices for video marketing on Facebook. I have some great tips for you that I know are gonna help you improve the number of people that you reach on Facebook. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I share video production and video marketing tutorials to help wellness business owners create a memorable brand with inspiring videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can get notified when I release new videos every week. So the tips that I'm about to share with you are not anything that I came up with. Facebook has a blog called Facebook for Creators to provide creators with tips on improving their audience reach. And I have personally tested out all of these tips with dozens of videos, so I encourage you to test these out for yourself. Please don't fall into the trap of thinking that if you don't get results the first few times you upload, that these tips aren't working. As many of you know, organic reach on Facebook has diminished year after year, and I know it's sad and frustrating, Believe me, I've seen when my videos fall flat, they don't get as much engagement or views as expected. So I want you to pay attention, take some notes, write down these tips. Let's get into it. Tip number one, be original. It may sound obvious, but Facebook wants you to not share third-party content and content that they consider to be clickbait. So make sure your content is authentic and that it's original content that your audience would be interested in. Tip number two, share relevant content. So not only do you wanna be original, you wanna make sure you're sharing content that your audience is, is interested in, right? And this may sound obvious, but make sure you're doing that market research, you're sending out surveys, you wanna get to know your audience extremely well. So you're not just sharing whatever content is interesting to you, you wanna share the most relevant content that your audience wants to hear from you. So tip number three, drive retention. So Facebook says specifically on their Facebook for Creators blog that you need to make videos that are both high quality and over three minutes long. So I know that you've probably heard a lot of information out there, make shorter videos. No, you need to make longer videos. Well, it is entirely true as of the moment of filming this video that Facebook is going to prefer videos that are three minutes or longer. And they also specifically tell you this when you upload a video. There's little check marks, you may have seen that, and they will say, you know, your video is not three minutes, so it doesn't meet their requirements. You can still publish a video, but make sure your videos are at least three minutes because that's what Facebook prefers. And you'll see that you'll have diminished reach you won't be able to reach as many people, have as many impressions, and therefore have as much engagement if your videos aren't at least three minutes. Now, as a caveat, remember, you're not just trying this one time. The first time you upload a three minute video, it doesn't mean just because it's three minutes that it is gonna hold retention. I'm gonna go into how you capture attention in just a moment, but the retention is about making sure just from the get-go, you have an HD quality video that's at least three minutes long, and then you're setting yourself up for success. Tip number four is capture attention. So you wanna capture attention from the first five to 10 seconds of your video. And the way that you can do this is by making a trailer, or you can simply just ask a question at the beginning of your video, tell people what your video is about. It really depends on your audience. You don't have to necessarily make some flashy trailer, or have some you know, crazy graphics. It really depends on what your audience is looking for. So you need to test out a lot of videos but concentrate on that first five to 10 seconds of your videos. And what you wanna do is you wanna eventually get from 10 seconds to over a minute, keeping your audience as you go along in your video. And you wanna 
always look every time you upload a video, you want to go into your audience dashboard on Creator Studio and you want to look at something that's called the audience retention curve. So don't be afraid and don't be upset when you first look at it. You might see most of your people are dropping off within the first 10 seconds. This is an opportunity for you to get creative, for you to understand your audience better and to keep improving your videos within the first five to 10 seconds. See if you can capture their attention and then you want to keep improving and see if you can keep their attention for up to one minute. This is going to help you greatly with the Facebook algorithm. And again, this is something that Facebook itself specifically tells people, I'm not making this up. I'm just here to remind you and to give you some tips on how you can improve your retention through that first five to 10 seconds of your video. Tip number five, engagement. So as you know, you've got to engage when people are watching your videos and they comment, of course, you're going to go in there and you're going to answer questions and you're going to leave some more comments, some more information that they may need if they ask a question, right? But Facebook actually recommends to leave longer comments because that can actually open up a discussion. So in other words, don't just go in there and uh, leave an emoji or you know, leave a simple one word answer. You actually want to really engage with your community. And so this is really about using the other tips that I gave you on capturing attention and in, in retention because once people do start really watching your videos and they start engaging, you really hit that sweet spot where you're happy to go in there and answer their questions and other people are starting to respond and they're also starting to share your content and it's starting to reach a wider audience where um, the people that they're sharing it with are also engaging in the comment section. So you want to find that sweet spot so that you can have plenty of engagement. Tip number six, use four by five aspect ratio. So Facebook has studied thousands, probably millions of videos, and they've discovered that people are more likely to interact. They're likely to watch a video longer as well as engage with that video if it's in a four, five aspect ratio. So don't make your videos landscape in 16 by nine because Facebook has found out that most people are using their phone. They don't want to watch a video in the landscape format. So they have their phone and they're holding it vertical and they're not going to switch to see it in landscape. You know, it doesn't mean nobody will do that, but the majority of people that Facebook has studied are watching in four or five. So set yourself up for success and have your videos in the four or five aspect ratio. Okay, so to summarize everything, I wanna read you something that is written right here on the Facebook for Creators blog. This is really important, so listen up. They say, at the end of the day, the only magic formula for successful content on Facebook is you. We encourage testing, experimentation, and following the data for what works best for your content and your audience. So I did share that at the beginning of this video and I just wanted to bookend by reminding you that you've got to be willing to experiment and follow the data. So I hope all of these tips were helpful to you. If you like this video, please click the like button and put a comment below. I would love to hear from you. I would like to know which tip did you like the best? and are you going to be implementing into your Facebook videos. So thank you so much for watching everyone and have a wonderful day.